nanotechnology, mm. genetic selection, even brain implants. Sounds like science fiction, but it's actually real. Yeah, they're and coming uh, to a hospital near you in this month's Big Idea. Ben Simino shows us some of the incredible breakthroughs happening right now. We can upload his consciousness. We can save him. The merging of man and machine, creating a superhuman. Your friends, they don't know the danger. Yes, this is fiction, the Johnny Depp movie Transcendence. The mind of Depp's character is uploaded onto a computer and it spirals out of control. It's a big idea, a man backed with the power of a machine. Some call it transhumanism. The dictionary definition of transhumanism would be uh, the belief that we can push past the limits of human abilities. That sounds awfully futuristic, but author, dreamer, transhumanist Ramez Nam says that future is already here. Our age already looks a very science fiction to someone born a century ago. If you use an iPhone, you're sort of a, a transhuman to a certain extent. You have these new abilities we didn't used to have. But what if you can't hear or see? Let's take things a step further and go inside the body. That's where technology is leading to amazing advances. I think the future is limitless. Dr. Sean McMenemy is a surgeon at Manhattan's NYU Langone Medical Center, who on a regular basis places implants in the brain. That's right, the brain. Resistance is futile. No, we are not the Borg, the half human, half robot species from Star Trek, but brain implants are, these days, normal, especially for people without a critical link, like a damaged or missing nerve connecting the ear and brain. Before the advent of the brainstem implant, there was nothing available for them. They were going to be without sound for their entire life. As an audiologist, Dr. Bill Shapiro teaches patients how to translate electric signals sent by the implant into sounds. So what do they hear? How quickly do they hear? It depends on the patient. It's, it's variable. There are patients that are able to understand speech almost immediately. Implants are limited for sure, but they give new hope. Left leg up. Helping the paralyzed regain movement in Kentucky and the blind to see in Michigan. Just this January, patients there received the first U.S. implants of a bionic eye, engineered by the company Second Sight. So we're going inside the body to help people hear and see. But what about fight disease? Well, thanks to nanotechnology, that's about to happen, giving the phrase under your skin a whole new meaning. Right here is the plaque. Okay. At Columbia University Medical Center, Dr. Ira Tabus is working on a nanoparticle to slow down the buildup of plaque in arteries, which can lead to a heart attack. His nanoparticles, designed with Harvard doctor Omid Faraksad, are cloaked in stealth technology, bind themselves to the plaque, and deliver drugs on the spot. Nanoparticles also have huge potential in treating cancerous tumors. You can get exactly the drug you want, exactly the place you want it. But maybe cancer and heart disease will become a thing of the past. Technology is about to let parents combine their DNA virtually to see if a potential child is genetically likely to develop disease. Some worry it could lead to designer babies, but it excites Ramez Nam. I'm not sure that uh, selecting some of the genes for our children is that different than selecting what schools they go to, picking their diets, picking what books we read them. It's all about making mankind stronger, smarter, and healthier. Who doesn't want that? Ben Simino, Fox 5 News.